welcome or welcome back to Sissy Spaces. I hope you're enjoying your day today and I want to thank you for sharing a part of it with me. In today's video, we're getting ready for the week by cooking and cleaning over the next two days. So if you enjoy this type of content, continue watching. And at the end of the video, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button and share this channel with your family and friends. I guess regularly to prevent allergens, make my home look and feel better, but also to protect my surfaces. Because dust buildup can damage and discolor your surfaces such as your decor, furniture, and rugs. We purchased this sofa from Ethan Allen about six plus years ago, and it's held up well considering Max, my fur baby, loves to use it as his favorite place to play and sleep. I maintain it by vacuuming it daily and spot cleaning it with Clorox wipes. Now that the family room is clean, I'm moving into the kitchen, also known as the workhorse of the home. Wipe down the counters, appliances, and vacuum at least three times a week. And of course, the dishes are done daily. I use water and a microfiber cloth to clean my appliances and on rare occasions may use a stainless steel cleaner. But I found that plain water or Dawn dish detergent with water works best. vacuuming I wanted to wash my duvet cover. If you've never used a duvet cover you should check it out. Duvets are easier to care for and are fluffier and warmer than a comforter. And instead of replacing your comforters just cover it with a duvet. This morning, I noticed the buildup of hair and debris in my tub. I used a swifter duster, and in less than a minute, it was clean. I also decided to clean the rest of the bathroom. I figured I'm already in here. Why not? constantly purchasing cleaners, I like to mix my own on occasion. Today I mixed white bacil vinegar with Dawn dish detergent and water and I added a splash of scented oil to clean my counters and my sinks. If you're enjoying today's video, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button and share this channel with your family and friends. I dust and vacuum my closet at least three times a week because shoes can be a breeding ground for germs and bacteria and other toxins that can make you sick. After 
finishing my last load of laundry, I like to dry my soap dispenser and door of the washer. This prevents a buildup of mold and mildew. I also leave the door of the washer open overnight to dry off the tub and dust and vacuum. Every two weeks, I mop my bathroom using the Bissell Power Fresh Scrubbing and Sanitizing Steam Mop. I purchased at Walmart for $79. Remember, your bathroom gets grimy quickly because of the wet activities and bodily functions that occur there. It's important that you mop it regularly because it will become more difficult to clean over time if you don't. After steam mopping my floors, I needed to fold laundry and place my clean duvet back on the comforter. I started the next day by cooking one of my easiest breakfast recipes, salmon patties over garlic flavored grits. If you're interested in making this recipe, I've linked it in my description box. The recipe calls for canned salmon, chopped onions, seasoned breadcrumbs, and olive oil. Of course, I use four times the ingredients that's listed, and I also added various seasonings. Once you mix your ingredients, shape into patties and fry on both sides. Drain any excess oil from your patties and serve over your prepared grits. I always line a plate with paper towels to drain the excess oil from my patties. For dinner, I use my crock pot to make Tuscan garlic chicken with spinach and sun-dried tomatoes over garlic-flavored mashed potatoes. To prepare this recipe, you want to start with a sauce, which consists of butter, garlic, heavy whipping cream, and chicken broth. While your sauce is simmering, prepare your chicken. Wash it and season it. Place it in your crock pot and cover it with the sun-dried tomatoes. When the cream sauce is ready, lower the heat and whisk in the Parmesan cheese, little by little, until smooth. Pour the cream sauce evenly over the chicken thighs in the crock pot. And cook your crock pot Tuscan garlic chicken for three to four hours on high, or 68 hours on low.
When the time has elapsed, remove the chicken from the crock pot, add your spinach, and stir until it wilts. Return the chicken to the crock pot and spoon the liquid spinach and sun-dried tomatoes on top. Once my chicken was done, I peeled a five pound bag of potatoes and boiled them until soft. I then mashed them, added milk, butter, and garlic and served it with my Tuscan garlic chicken. After dinner, I wanted to clean my Dyson V15 vacuum cleaner. Dyson suggests you clean the filter monthly and the vacuum regularly. There are tons of videos on YouTube on how to do this, so I won't go into detail here. But today it took me about 15 minutes to clean it for the first time using only a swifter duster and a wet handkerchief. disassemble and assemble as well. If you made it this far in the video, I want to thank you for watching Sissy Spaces, and I'll see you next week.